Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. I'm about to start episode three from season two of Outlander. In the previous episode, Jamie and Murtaugh met with the Bonnie Prince Charles, and they're devising their scheme or their plan for raising the money for the Jacobite cause, which we know is going to lead to disaster at the Battle of Culloden. And Jamie is trying to thwart this from happening, but we know he's probably not going to be successful. In fact, we know he's not going to be successful because at the beginning of this season, Claire winds up in 1948, and she was told that the British won the Battle of Culloden. Now, we've been presuming that Black Jack Randall was killed during Jamie's prison escape by the cows that stampeded through the, the prison. But we found out in the previous episode from his brother that he survived. So will Claire tell Jamie about this? And how is this going to affect Jamie because of the nightmares that he's been having? So I expect that these are some things that are going to be addressed here in, either in this episode or in the next coming few episodes. So let's get started. Men don't do things like that where I come from. And where is that? The moon? Seaford, in Sussex. I found this in the, uh, the attic of my grandmother's house in Sussex. And so even your grandmother was a historian. Well, all families recorded the births, deaths, and marriages in the front of the family Bible. Mm -hmm. This one only goes back seven generations, but according to this, your beloved husband mm. got his start. 1746, when Jonathan Warburton Randall married Miss Mary Hawkins. Ma chère Claire? Are you all right? I hope I didn't upset you. Somewhere in the back of my mind, I must have known. If Jack Randall had really died at Wentworth Prison, he obviously could not later wed Mary Hawkins and Sire Frank's direct ancestor. That's true. That's true. In that true. case, Frank himself would never exist. Then if Frank Perhaps never existed, she may never have gone back in time. Now. I was faced with the terrible knowledge that Frank's very existence now depended on Jack living for at least another year. <laughs> Where was this filmed? Where is this this building that they're Our involvement in Austria has depleted showing. our resources. The king is not inclined to fund another foreign adventure. But I'm here to play chess, not to debate politics. And I'm... It's interesting to see this hospital. I've been watching the British show Mr. Time Mr. Team, you, And I recently watched oui. an episode where they Take showed a hospital of this sort that they were excavating. And how can we help you, madame? Is one of your servants here today? No, as I mentioned earlier to Sister Angelique, I have some medical skills I thought might be useful here. Indeed. Ma soeur, pouvez-vous trouver quelque chose à faire à Milady? Bouton, bien. <laughs> Emptying bedpans. A good use of, of the skill for the skills of a surgeon, I guess. It was urine, undoubtedly. But without chemical tests or even litmus paper. What conceivable use could a urine sample be? Can you tell from what she suffers, madame? Possibly. I suspected the cause straight away, but I took a moment to recall the 18th century term for diabetes. I believe she has... sugar sickness. And can you tell whether she will recover?
She won't. I'm afraid she won't last the month. That is what Monsieur Parnell said. I have never seen a woman who knew the science of urinoscopy. Perhaps you could help Sister Angelique dress the wounds of a young boy with scrofula. So now she actually believes that Claire does have medical expertise and shouldn't just be emptying bedpans or the equivalents that they have of bedpans. His Majesty has seen Pick fit pocket. to approve the Spanish Crown's request for a sizable loan, which it, it would change the world. Highness? Yes, but France will have to stand with us now. Add your funds to what I've already secured. Help me secure victory. Close the gap between what I have and what I need, and I will give you the world. Does he really have those finances that he's claiming that he has, though? I will speak to the king on your behalf, but I will first need some evidence of your English patriots and their humble funds. <laughs> he spotted him. Come on! <laughs> Push it back. <laughs> Got him. Lâche-moi, espèce de salaud d'anglais. D'anglais? First of all, I'm a dirty Scottish bastard. <laughs> Okay, then. Take me to the police, and I will find your wife. Uh, you speak English. And I will tell her that you rot with horns. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, no police. Uh, my wife would not believe you, but a madam Elise likely not appreciate having a thief for a servant boy. Put me down! Stop! Fish and Valley. Ah. You bastard, that's my snake. How much do you pay? <laughs> so he found the snake. As the days passed, our house settled into a routine that kept us all busy. Fergus spent his time, with Murta's help, stealing letters to and from the prince. Jamie and Murta's time was spent trying to piece together the puzzle of the Jacobite Rebellion and discover if there really was an English conspiracy, willing to fund the cause, or if it was all a ruse by a desperate prince trying to restore his father's throne. And that's what I believe, it's a ruse. get letters back to the tavern before they're missed. I don't know it's the actual James history, though. I don't know a whole lot about it. I recognize his hand by now. I was hoping... Wondering if there was something odd about the music, the way it's written. Can you show me what you are doing is neither illegal nor dangerous? I can assure you, if my husband is asking, and it's for a good reason. But she didn't assure her that it was neither illegal nor dangerous. <laughs> because it could be both illegal and dangerous. Is that? The key is the key. Yeah. I will be back in Paris at the month's end, and I'm eager to finally meet you face to face to solidify our arrangement. And then it's just S. Hey, uh, one letter left over, a uh, signature, I reckon. Hmm. So who is it? Yes. Sandringham. Sandringham. <laughs> I said you come sure of it. 
Well, the Duke's had secret dealings with Dougal for years. Dougal is a committed Jacobite. He's playing both sides against the middle. He may well be hedging his bets for and against a Stuart restoration. If Sandringham lass, if Jamie sits down with him and his secretary, you know what will happen. You'll find out Black Jack Randall is still alive. You need to tell him, and you need to tell him now. Mm. Well, that's Yonia. going to ruin his mood, oh, I can't that's tell for you sure. How good it feels to make progress to my wife. Who's always there when I need her? Well, is she going to tell him about Randall? What is it, Sasak? I just love seeing you so happy. Mm. She's not going to tell him. Not yet, anyway. So that was episode three from season two of Outlander. A lot of political intrigue, of course. But I suspect we'll have a lot of that in season two. I also suspect that in the next episode, Claire is going to wind up telling Jamie that Black Jack Randall is still alive. So I'm curious to see how Jamie is going to react to that news, considering the nightmares that he's had and the experience that he had being raped by Randall. So please subscribe to my channel. Be sure to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new content. And I'll see you on the next episode.